Well, hey guys, I hope your week is going well. So I got ready to film this video and just as I started, the um, lawn keeping service for my apartment building was doing their um, trimming of the shrubbery. <laughs> And so I had to wait patiently for approximately 20 minutes. I didn't want to, I didn't want to subject you all to that noise. It's rather anxiety, anxiety provoking. <laughs> um, but I'm grateful, grateful to have a trimmed shrubbery out outdoors. So as you can tell from the title and thumbnail of today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about cacao oil because a while back I posted a video all about like natural oils and skincare. You guys asked me tons of questions about oils. And one of the oils I didn't cover in that video that was highly requested was cacao oil. And, um, you know, I guess this company, Cacay Naturals, took note of that. And they reached out to me and they offered to send me their cacao oil for, for consideration of review. And they also offered to, to sponsor a giveaway. So if you are interested in, in, in winning some cacao oil, check the description box down below. Um, they are kind enough to be giving away three of these to three of you. So check the description box for details. It's fairly straightforward as to how to enter. Let me just get a sip of Totoro here before I get into get into cacao oil. Well, what can I tell you about cacao oil? Frankly, not a whole lot. Um, you know, uh, if you go on the internet, you will find blog posts and uh, reviews of touting these benefits of cacao oil for anti-aging, for fading acne scars, for being a source of of all natural retinol um, and frankly I have to tell you I those claims are not substantiated I have poured over PubMed in an effort to find whatever I can on cacao oil and suffice it to say there is very 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 little out there all right um, the four or five studies or investigations of cacao oil that I can find really are only looking at the oil itself as far as its chemical composition. There are no studies that I can find <clears throat> out there looking at the effects of cacao oil on human skin in real life conditions. So everything that people are kind of claiming about cacao oil is probably either from their own personal biased observation of their own use of it, as well as, you know, maybe just just false hope. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but suffice it to say, it's not evidence-based. <laughs> but what is cacao oil? Cacao oil is derived from a tree, the, um, the caryodendron tree, which is kind of like a palm tree that grows along the Amazon River in Peru, Ecuador, Venezuela. And it is sort of like a large palm tree. It has a large fruit with a, a substantial seed. You can extract oil from both the, the fruit pulp and as well as the seed. And this per particular cacao naturals, cacao oil, is derived from the seed of that plant. And as far as the chemical composition of the oil, it actually is quite promising as an ingredient in skincare products. It is very rich in linoleic acid. It is richer in linoleic acid than other oils, um, such as um, sunflower seed oil, safflower seed oil, some of the other oils that I talked about in my last oils video. If you'll recall from that video, linoleic acid um, is kind of a, a fatty acid that can be very moisturizing in the skin. Importantly, um, cacao oil appears to have, at least in these assays, a low fraction of oleic acids, which if you'll recall back to that video, oleic acids, such as which are more predominant in like all, your olive oil, for example, can be, can be irritating to the skin and can impair the skin barrier. So it holds promise as an emollient in skincare products. In addition to the linoleic acid profile, it also is uh, very rich in antioxidants. One such antioxidant is squalene. Squalene is a natural, natural part of our own skin flora, of our sebaceous oil gland secretions. And uh, so it is, it, is, it is an antioxidant that holds promise in skincare products. Cacao oil appears to be, appears to be a natural source of that. Do know, however, that really the the effects of applying squalene onto the skin 
as far as benefit or adverse effects really have not been studied substantially. So I can't tell you whether or not squalene applied topically really is a good ingredient. Um, theoretically it is. And cacao oil is rich in squalene. And in addition to squalene and several other antioxidants, um, I think one of the things that I, I see most promising in cacao oil is its tocopherol content. So if you have watched any number of my videos, you know that a, very, that a shortcoming of antioxidants in topical skincare products is that they tend to be very unstable, like your vitamin C serums, for example, um, and their ability to scavenge free radicals when applied to the skin really is, is very transient, short-lived, and you know, kind of, kind of, kind of evaporative, if you will. The, the duration of, 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 of free radical scavenging ability and the robustness um, is enhanced by the presence of tocopherol or vitamin E. And what I think is really promising is that not only is cacao uh, rich in antioxidants, it's also rich in its own vitamin E or tocopherol. So if anything, in my mind, I'm kind of enthusiastic about cacao oil as an ingredient in moisturizers. <clears throat> and I say that because a lot of moisturizers already have tocopherol added. Um, as uh, kind of just stabilize the product. And so I think um, using cacao oil, you know, potentially could, could, um, could be another, another option in, in our moisturizers. Similar to how shea butter is used in a lot of moisturizers, similar to how like um, sunflower seed oil is. I think that this is simply another oil out there that offers some potential in, in moisturizers. Do I think that this is any more outstanding really than any other oil out there? No, I mean, to me, oils are oils are oils and the claims around them are, are not substantiated. Furthermore, oils such as this on their own, people you know, are really enthusiastic about putting them on their skin. You see it kind of, it comes in this dropper and it sort of looks like olive oil. Um, do you see that? It's just running down just running down my hand here and dripping off. Oils by themselves, without, without occlusive ingredients, are simply not phenomenal moisturizers, to be honest. They don't really slow down transepidermal water loss from the skin barrier. They largely function as emollients, meaning they can kind of soften the skin cells and in part in, in doing so, impart a, a transient kind of brightening effect and suppleness to the skin. So I suspect that a lot of the benefit that people see when they use oils applied to the skin, such as cacao oil, is, is really just the emollient property of the oil by itself. But alone, an oil is really not a good moisturizer. Furthermore, furthermore plant-derived oils, particularly on their own, uh, in the absence of preservatives, they can degrade with time and uh, you know, they, they can degrade and those, those, uh, those compounds that um, are subsequently released can be very, very problematic on the skin. Um, so if anything, oils, you know, as I've said in all of my videos, they can, there's always the potential for harm with them, particularly when used, when used on their own. Um, in the, you know, I can't find any evidence in the medical literature of any reports of adverse outcomes from people using cacao oil, so it appears to be safe. Um, but, you know, as I've, as I've emphasized in many of my videos, all that is natural is not necessarily safe and or effective. Um, so, you know, I, I don't have anything necessarily negative to say about cacao oil. Um, clinical studies have proven its effectiveness no, that, that's simply not true. It contains 50% more vitamin E and twice the amount of linoleic acid than argon oil. Well, the study didn't compare it to argon oil, but it does contain a lot of vitamin E and it does contain a rich source of linoleic acid. The three times more retinol than rosehip oil? Show me the data. Uh, show me the data that rosehip oil has retinol in it. Show me the data that um, that cacao oil does. What what is the I mean what what is how are they determining that? I, I it's in my mind I think they are extrapolating antioxidant. You know, is is somehow vitamin A? Is somehow retinol? 
I would really, really just be very, very, very suspicious of that claim. Nothing on PubMed that I can come across that substantiates that whatsoever as being a retinol. Then no, this is not a replacement for tretinoin. No, this is not a replacement for, for even, you know, I mean, an over-the-counter retinol cream, if that. Uh, there's, there's really nothing out there to convince me that this has any retinol in it. But honestly, I really can't say anything bad about the cacao oil per se. Um, I, I don't find, like I said, I don't find oils to be useful as moisturizers by themselves. I tried using it on my skin and I really, you know, was largely underwhelmed. Where I will say that I have tried using this and found it to be helpful is, um, you know, now that my hair is getting a little bit longer, I have put a little bit of this on the ends of my hair prior to getting into the shower and shampooing my scalp. You guys know I shampoo my scalp every night. Um, that kind of helps control things like seborrheic dermatitis. Um, and that is just what my, my particular hair, um, my particular type of hair and hair texture tolerates and, and responds well to. But as my hair is getting longer, the ends of the hair shaft, you know, can inevitably become more predisposed to breakage. And I found that putting a little bit of this on the ends of my hair before I get into the shower and start shampooing my scalp kind of, kind of, uh, buffers them from from some of the um, detergent effects and, and surfactant effects of the shampoo on the more fragile tips of my hair. So I have enjoyed using it that way. Um, you know, and it gets washed off in the shower while uh, from the shampoo, and it kind of gives the shampoo something to take off from the tips rather than rather than more of my my hair's hair shafts own own oils and things like that so i've kind of enjoyed using it that way um but i don't know that you necessarily need to do cacao oil that way um you know you could probably use just any oil in that manner but i found that it's it's been been really nice that way the other way that i have tried using it and find it enjoyable is i put a, a few drops um around my cuticles at night and go to sleep sometimes with white cotton gloves on that just kind of helps to to make my nails you know look nice I suppose kind of keeps uh, the ingrown nails kind of at bay and, and keeps the nail bed healthy so I've really enjoyed using it that way and that is how I plan to finish this up um, it's just kind of like as a cuticle oil and that I find helpful it's fragrance free so you know it doesn't have anything irritating in it necessarily so I feel comfortable using it that way on my nail beds and again on the tips of my hair so it's been useful to me but not necessarily in my skin care routine. So those of you out there who are trying to take a step back from some of the aggressive nail manicure practices, or those of you out there who um, are trying to, to cut down on hair breakage, those are my tips on, on how I've used this oil to, to reduce those problems. Um, but I'm not I'm not necessarily convinced that this oil is any more magical than any other oil, uh, to be frank. Uh, and I don't see the data in the medical literature to support the claims that it has robust retinol content or anything like that. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't appear to be irritating or, or problematic but I would just caution you to, to not put too much faith into, into the claims because they're really not substantiated. As always, I will put my references for this stuff down below. I mean, they're gonna be a few, just a few, because there's simply not a lot out there. Um, and also the details on, on how to win if you're at all interested in, in this. But anyways, guys, I hope that answers all of your questions on cacao oil. Um, I, you know, I wish there were more data out there, more things that I could tell you about it. Um, but hopefully this was helpful to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.